take you all on. Demon Fang! These ones can run rings around us. Ready! Glacial Spear! Pierce the Eagle! Here goes! Freeze Lancer! We've turned the tables on us. There are three more left. Right. No time to hold back. Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! No further! Goodness, we won. Yes. What? <laughs> hmm? I'm afraid not. I'm sorry. Rinwell. Huh? Phew. Hmm? Good. That little speech you gave back there was pretty impressive, Alfin. If you call letting your emotions get the better of you impressive, sure. It made them stop fighting with each other, right? How- <sighs> Something's eating at you again, huh? I don't know if I would say that. I just... I mean... <sighs> Actually... I guess I do have one or two things on my mind. My people, we lived in hiding, so we never really experienced the full extent of Renan oppression. Not directly, anyway. After Almadria killed my mother and father, though, I... I guess that's when I started hating them so much. The Renans, I mean. But then I think of all those people who were born into slavery, the ones who never even got angry in the first place because it was all they ever knew. I hear you. Every city we've been to, it's the resistance that gets labeled the troublemakers for having the guts to do the right thing. When it comes down to it, sometimes I wonder which of us really has the better way. You can't let your anger eat away at you, Rinwell. But then again, losing your parents that way. Hell, who could really blame you for it if you did? I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, uh, sorry. Hell, it's hard putting this stuff into words. No, I get it. You're saying that grief and anger are different than hatred. I never thought of it like that. But hearing you say it, it makes sense. Thanks, Law. <laughs> uh, you're welcome?
Always good to be back in familiar territory. I think we've helped these people just about as much as we can. They're going to need more long-term aid than we can provide on our own. You're right. We need to ask the other realms to send help, and fast. Another reason to hurry and find a way out of Ganeth Haros. Agreed. We'll start looking for a way out tomorrow. For now, we should spend the day resting up while we can. What? That noise. Alfred, this is bad. Look at the sky. Huh? What's happening to Renna and Lenigus? It looks like Lenigus is transforming? But into what? What's going on? How the hell are we supposed to fight the Renans if they're packing that kind of arsenal? It seems they've broken their silence at last. My concern is that object they've dropped into the water. It's as if they're driving a literal wedge into Dana. Not just into Dana, but her own resistance too. And what's with that beam of light coming down from above? Got any idea what that could be? Astral energy. Are you serious? All of that is astral energy? But that... It's a lot for sure. Not even all the astral energy harvested by every lord combined compares to that column. They're trying to squeeze every last bit of energy out of the planet. But why? I thought they only needed to harvest astral energy as part of the crown contest. Who cares? If we don't stop it now, the whole of Dana is going to be hollowed into oblivion. Uh, oblivion. Do you think that red woman is behind this? It certainly wouldn't surprise me. Just as the Sovereign, the Maiden, and all five Master Cores are gathered in one location, she appears out of nowhere bearing a sixth core. She then forces the two of you to help her assemble the Renis Alma. Just what kind of person is this woman? You mean you don't know her? Pardon? She was there at your palace, wasn't she? I figured you knew who she was. Are you saying I should be familiar with this woman? Well, sure. I remember seeing her with you back at Adelina Palace several times. Everyone in the Guard always wondered who she was. Now that you mention it, I remember seeing her with Balsif, too. You saw her, right, Shion? Shion? Oh, sorry, I drifted off. As far as I remember, the first time I saw her was when we ran into her in Pelegian. Seriously? How could you two not notice her before? She sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess I always figured she kept an eye on the lords for the Renan top brass. 
You're sure you don't remember ever seeing her before? I'm certain of it. My memory has never failed me. But if it's not that, then... We'll get to the bottom of this later. Right now, that wedge is a bigger concern. Well, what are we gonna do then? We're not gonna be able to leave Ganeth Haros until we come up with a plan, right? Cislodia lies beyond the northern mountain range. Yeah, but we haven't found a single route through those mountains while we've been here. And we haven't gotten clues from any of the freed locals either. Surely there must be a way through. This realm can't have been completely isolated from the rest of the outside world for 300 years. Volron may have simply sealed and hidden it. Okay, then let's try asking the townspeople again if they know anything. Who knows? We might have missed something the first time around. Sounds good to me. Better that than trying to build a boat from scratch. Let's start searching. That must be Rena's true power. I imagine there would be something, but not to this extent. What's gonna happen now? We ask around. Let's do what we can. Hey, when that wedge dropped down on Dana, did anyone else see any weird light shoot out with it? Indeed. As I recall, it was four lights, each one a different color and going in a separate direction. That's what I saw, too. What were they? Hold on. A lot just happened here, so let's take a minute. For now, let's focus on one thing at a time. I bet the whole of Dan is losing its mind right about now. And just when we'd finished liberating all the realms. So much for things getting somewhere close to normal. It's too calculated. As if whoever's behind all this was watching us. The people of Pelegian seem pretty unfazed given the circumstances. They've yet to get the full range of their emotions back. Maybe it's for the best. Can you imagine the panic otherwise? Yeah. We wouldn't have been able to leave. That's for sure. Whatever Lenigus is planning, it's a fair bet this wedge they've sent down is just the beginning. Even now, they're stealing away Dana's astral energy as we speak. Come on. We don't have much time. mountains exactly those are the mountains you encounter if you walk deep enough into the lava to marshlands i don't remember there being any sort of path like that around there it's possible we overlooked something before it wouldn't hurt to look again That was quite the little adventure we went on. There are still so many creatures we don't know about. Have you been writing stuff down about what we fight? Yep. It's actually pretty fun to observe them from afar. came out great. Everyone's gonna be real surprised. Shion, could we talk a moment? Do you mind if we chat a bit? Now there's something I never thought I'd hear you say. Remember when we talked about what it was like for me growing up? Well, I thought it only fair that I also get to ask what you were like as a child. My childhood? Maybe you missed the memo that was going around, but I can't remember anything of my past. I know. Just whatever you can remember. There's got to be something, right? <sighs> Let me think. Well, 
Have I ever told you about my army days? Back when I used to serve under a Dan and Master? Yeah, but that must have been after you were already grown up, right? Do you happen to remember anything from back when you were younger? <sighs> Actually, I remember I had a kid with me. You had a kid? No, of course not. The child's father was another soldier. Back in those days, we risked our lives for a master we'd never even seen. We just fought for them and didn't even question it. When that kid's dad died and I saw them sitting there crying, I felt this bitter, indescribable feeling. It was like I was drinking something toxic that I knew I shouldn't, but couldn't stop. It was strange. I never understood why I reacted like that. Soldiers died every day. It wasn't anything new. What it tells me is that deep down, you were the same man then as you are now. You've never been able to accept injustice in the world. If you keep talking like that, you're going to embarrass me. I wonder whatever happened to that master and poor kid. Not that there's any way of knowing now. You know, I just remembered that kid was good at sewing dolls. They gave me one once. It was a good luck charm to protect me. Dolls? I'm looking forward to breakfast. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. No choice. Ready to go. Radiant blast. Radiant blast. Light activated. Not today. You're mine. Let's get you all touched with radiant blast. You are intoxicated. Soon as I'm done here, come help out. How could a girl ever say no? As impressive as always. Ah. Do it! Theon, astral energy! Full throttle! Go! A flawless victory. Naturally. Bring it across! Dimming with the earth! Bloom! Stalagmite! The heavens must be smiling. Break a sweat. <sighs> this will be a delicious piece of cake. Ready, Ready away. No further. You Lightning dare strike me from behind? Ready, Ready to Now you see what I can do. This is an amount of ammo. Back Blue into the fray. I'll bash in their defenses. Glad you have your unit in my I'll show you how useful I can be. Hey, Why'd you heal me? To stop you dying? Ah, oh, right. Blow away! Ready to hit! Do it! Catapult! Ready! I'm ready! Didn't even break a sweat. We're gonna lose the small fry. <sighs> Armored soldiers! Some of Volron's former guards. 
Let's take them out quick before things get messy. Oh, glory unto Volron! Lay down your arms, and no one has to get hurt. Silence! Traitors like you shall never walk free. I knew you were stubborn, but you don't have to be so damn dramatic. Ready? Go! Take this! Come on, come on! The enemy here is armed. We can see about that! You picked the wrong fight! What's with the hole here? Is that supposed to be their hideout? It doesn't look like it's freshly dug, whatever it is. Maybe it's the entrance to a path to Cislodia. <sighs> Everything all right? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. I can feel my precision improving. <laughs> 